family, it's me. Um, I haven't made a video in a very long time, and that is because my computer broke. Uh, the microphone stopped working, which is charming because I was in the middle of a um, speech class where I needed to film all my speeches. So that was rough um, last semester. And then my girl Flip, all the batteries are pretty much gone. So I have to figure out what I'm doing with that. But I recently got a new computer, and um, I was like, I want to make a video, so I'm making a quick one. Seriously, I'm just going to read a poem by someone else. Um, <laughs> it's by um, Lauren Zuniga, who came to my school. She's a slam poet, spoken word. She's wonderful. Um, her performance of it, like the way she reads it, is just gorgeous, and it made me cry like four times during her show. Um, and I talked to her afterwards, and I was really emotional. And she gave me a copy of her book, actually. It's called The Smell of Good Mud. It's beautiful. Um, and she wrote, Sam, your light is so necessary, the world does not benefit from you hiding your badassery. Which is, she's so cool. So, um, I've been thinking about this one poem first a lot. Um, I think it's really good. And it's kind of what I want to write like. So, I decided I'm going to read it, just because I can. Okay. World's tallest hill. Impato or <laughs> I messed up already. In Pateo, Oklahoma, there stands a hill one foot shy of being a mountain, one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine feet of boasting pride all the way to the top. At the top of the hill, shiny trucks line up like churches, giddy swarms of sixteen year old mothers out late on a Friday night. Frosted lips and too much eyeliner, boys in sagging shorts and big cowboy buckles, ice chests full of six-point beer purchased just over the state line. There's a chrome and base boxing match, tinted windows shaking like bedposts. Turn it up, y'all. This is my jam. This is weekend medicine. Billy just got his ink done. It grips right to his it grips tight to his bicep like Carla, who can't stand the way Grady be looking at him. Shit's about to get rowdy tonight. Right now you can look out over the hill and see the 24-hour Walmart glowing like the queen bee in a hive. A steady stream of headlights loop around from Walmart to the movie theater and back again. This is how we learn to move in circles, how to move in packs. You can look out over that hill and see Liz, tough smirk of a girl playing basketball in the First Baptist parking lot. Her palms pound so hard they're calloused like a dude's. She likes to be called dude. Dude will show up at prom in a tux and leave with cheeks bloody as a corsage. This is how we learn to break each other down. Over the drive through Daniel is working, the closing shift, saving to get the hell out of here. Hair perfectly spiked over his visor, uniform collar popped. No one comments on his mascara or the touch of concealer. He is flawless, brutal wink of a boy. He's been called fag so much to be dropped the beat behind it and made it his ringtone. This is how we learn to man up. Rachel works on cars with her dad in the garage. Glenn Beck rattles through the speakers like engine grease. Rachel has been in love with a girl for two years, but she believes in family values. She knows with all her heart she is going to hell if she doesn't straighten up. This is how we get control, how we fit in, how we stay small town in a scary world. Mr. Elgin shoots BB guns at the black boys for getting white girls pregnant. Michael climbed the top of the jail. Well, Michael climbed to the top of the cell phone tower to get some attention. Bethy Xanax by the fistful. Jamie built a meth lab in her sparkly bedroom. Jenny herds cattle by day, strips at night. This is how we learn to cope. This is how we build pride. One foot shy of a mountain. I love her. She's so good, so. I might read more. I don't know. I'm really into sand poetry right now, so. That might happen. I hope you're doing well, and. You should tell me about your life. Um. I've been working a lot. Um. I have a ton of writing classes, so I'm really excited to get back into it and use words and make them pretty. So, yay! Buy this book if you have extra money and want beautiful poetry. Just throw it out there. Otherwise, look her stuff up on YouTube. She's awesome. So, that's it. I'll talk to you later. You have TVA.